10 past one in the morning and this is like guerrilla filmmaking it's best uh, we're on some uh, road not too far out from civilization i'm driving in the middle of the road i'm going to turn my lights off i'm not wearing a seat belt and we're running a generator next to some poor folks house so this is how we're doing it on deranged devil dust <laughs> Uh, well, firstly, I'm Joe Meredith. I play the lead cad in this film. I'm Rob. I'm the director of photography. I didn't play anything in this film. <laughs> I'm Dale Harry, and I play the lurker in Devil's Dust. <laughs> I found out about this because I'd made a film previously with Matthew Ronmore, where uh, I, I crawled around on a green screen for five hours <laughs> in excessive amounts of makeup. And he figured if he'll do that, he'll probably do anything. So he called me up and asked me if I would play the part in this one. No, we've we've worked together on a couple of projects before. Um, I worked with with Matt on uh, a film called Poached. The character I play is best summed up by a line of dialogue that one of the actresses shouts, which is rotten bastards, referring to me and my brother who uh, pick them up in a nightclub and then abandon them on a country road in the middle of nowhere because we don't want to get into any trouble. But um, The basic approach was, I, I think, I think the, the line of direction from Matt was if you think of the old Pete Walker movies and the kinds of um, hipster dudes that you get in the clubs in those films, all standing around looking suave with cigarettes and picking up chicks and all talking, talking like that with a one eyebrow arched. That was, we just sort of took it from there really. Bit of finger clicking. As far as behind the scenes, I mean I've always seen eye to eye with Matt on what a lot of stuff he's trying to draw from. We've got all the Jallo cinemas, you've got Sergio Martino's work, you've got obviously Argento's work. As far as drawing on this sort of character for that sort of thing, you've got um, anything played by George Hilton, who's probably the most entertainingly seedy lead guy in Jallo cinema, so you, you can't go far wrong there. And I think, as far as the aesthetic goes, it's probably a similar roll call, isn't it really? Yeah, I mean obviously we're, we, we're, not, shooting on, we're not shooting on film, so it's it's never going to look like a late 60s kind of Mario Bava movie, but uh, we can at least try and get the, the rough, the feel of the, you know, the types of shots that we used and, uh, um, you know, the lighting, and we can try and create our own look, really, I guess. The shoot has been, I wouldn't say it's been arduous. Um, he loves it. <laughs> I do. Um, no, it's, it's not been, it's been as hard as, as any other shoot really. Um, exteriors at night time and, and dealing with all the kinds of problems that that can bring up. Uh, that's been, had its own challenges, but we've, we've muddled on through really. As far as the shoot being difficult for me, not really at all, because my section's only at the start of the film, so. We spent one evening in an underground nightclub with a live band, which was great fun, and then one less, less entertaining evening out on one of the most terrifying back roads I've ever seen in my life with roaming hookers and drug addicts and carjackers and all kinds of um, weird shit till about 4 a.m. I'll tell you, man, the Rage Boys take you to some of the weirdest places, like <laughs> 2 in the morning, and it's like freezing, and there's like, some guy coming out of the bushes and shit. It's like, I should be home in bed about now, but... It's all good, it's deranged pictures, man. So you put, Rob's probably working at like 36 hours 
for every minute of filming. It's film a ratio of see. about 5,000 to 1, <laughs> I understand. Uh, working with Matthew Rowan Moore. Well, um... <laughs> Matt, Matt's a good filmmaker, lad. He's very chill, laid back, he doesn't shout at people and stuff. Mm -hmm. he, he manages to like get what he wants done without shouting. He, he caters for his actors and actresses, there's always somewhere warm to be. There's usually alcohol and food. It's not just filmmaking, it's like you, you have a laugh while you're doing it. It's, very, it's like a family when you're together working on the film and stuff. Guys, if you want to move your chair here so you get a better view, you're welcome to do so. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't. Like <laughs> <away. laughs> Shed a tear, just as long as you stand, stand by me. Action. Oh dear. So crumbly. <laughs> it's all gone, this is on this. Uh, have, you got, have you got Ricardo on there, man? I've got Ricardo as well. <laughs> Supposed to be professional, this guy, you know. Okay, let's go. All right, please. <laughs> Dale. Dale. Wake up, man. <laughs> who, who can sleep that you much? Spiked him or something. I said after it all, because I could do it all again and more. I think it's I love being on set. I think we we've got a decent working relationship, um, and we get things done. Would this be the second film we've, uh, we've done in this in this capacity, uh, um, and hopefully more. Hopefully, I'll be working with Matt on uh, anything that he makes. Please. You ready, Rob? Yeah. Camera rolling. Three, two, one. <laughs> Action. I don't want to stay here exposed like this. That girl said the others were after her. I don't want to meet them. For all we know, they could have killed her. Not Vincent's bloody van. Will you be more frightened in the woods? Who's to say they're not in there? Who's to say they're not out here? Oh, God. No, it's just laughing. You're fine again. Did you hear it? 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 We ran off for ages before we lost it. I'm rolling, baby. It really stinks. It's not really loud. You know that's going to be on the DVD, man. Loopers, baby.